Thanks, Fredo. With that in mind, let's add a refresh menu button to our app. For temporary purposes only, though, otherwise Rado would be mad at us. On Android, menu options are defined in XML, and they can be declared for fragments or activities. When the fragment or activity is created, it inflates this XML into the actual menu items in the app. You'll see that there are action buttons, which are menu items that appear in the action bar, such as this search menu item. This space is reserved for the most prominent actions in your app. Then anything else that's less important falls into the overflow menu by tapping on this button with the three dots. These menu items are ordered from most frequently used to least frequently used. And on larger devices that have more screen real estate, you can specify that some of these menu items can actually go into the action bar if there's room. If you go back to our project in the resources folder, which is called res, there's a menu folder and inside that there's a main.xml file. If you open that up, you see the menu layout XML and that there's a single menu option defined for settings. It will never show up as an action in the action bar, meaning that it will be in the overflow menu. You can verify this by checking the app on your phone. To define the ordering of menu items, you can just add multiple items to this XML file and then they'll show up in that order in the app. If you don't like the order though, and you want to explicitly set it, then you can specify this order in category value Right now it's set as 100 so that the settings menu will be at the bottom of all the other menu options that we define in our app. The only menu option that should show up below the settings menu is the help menu. Check out the link for more details.